Today, we will learn how to make partial updates to a record in Spring Data JPA. In a partial update, user will provide only fields he wants to update. Also, the input request must have the primary keys required to identify the record. For example, if we want to update student's contact number, user will provide only new contact number. If we are using JPA repository save or save all method, we must provide expected values for each column every time we insert or update the record. For example, consider we have an existing student record. Now while updating the contact number we did not provide the student name, JPA will update this record's name as null. Assume we are having a student database. We need to save and update the student's details. Method 1, load existing record and append updated fields. Here, first we will fetch the existing record. Then we will update the required fields. Finally we are insert the updated record into the database. Let's see the implementation. A student has his name, department and contact number. We have a student repository interface. This interface is extends the JPA repository. Now we will try to update the student information. First we will fetch the existing record by the student ID. Then we will append the updated fields on existing record. Here, we are doing a null check on each field to know if it is updated. Finally, we insert the updated record in database. If your entity class is having large number of fields, we can use MapStruct library and create some custom mapper. Please watch our tutorial on MapStruct library.